Tucker. Congratulations on the uh, victory. Uh, what are your initial thoughts after a fight like that? I'm happy, man. I'm, I'm really pleased. Uh, we knew Kevin was going to be super hard to put away. We just we knew that his his biggest attribute was his toughness. So uh, to go in there, mix it up with a vet like him, and and get a dominating victory. You know, it's uh, that's what we were coming for. Pretty dominant first two rounds. It kind of came out guns blazing in that third round. Is that something you expected, knowing he was probably down two two rounds in that one? Yeah, absolutely. My uh, my coach on the stool kind of advised me on that going into the third that uh, I think that was his only shot was coming in and launching the right hand, which is his best his best punch too. So we were uh, we were expecting it going into the third and just wanted to be high IQ, be evasive, and uh, so I feel like uh, I kind of took my foot off the gas a third, but it is what it is. We'll get it back. And obviously, you, you seem to have the game plan pretty down uh, entering this fight. Anything in there surprised you from your opponent? Yeah, he caught me with a good body kick, which I was not expecting. That shit hurt real bad. But um, but other than that, I knew that he was he was very boxing heavy, had good boxing uh, punches. But I, I did not expect that kick, and he caught me pretty flush. I had to put on a, a poker face for that, for sure. Then uh, fans back in attendance, uh, pretty – Sizable crowd, even for an early prelim. Uh, were you surprised at the amount of fans that turned out early? And what did you make of the, the attendance? It was great to see to see the fans, to get that fan energy. There's nothing like it. Um, I heard that Florida was pretty bumping even for the early fight, so I was kind of anticipating and visualizing a big crowd just to kind of get that in my head. So, uh, But it was amazing to get to at least some element of normalcy back here, you know. And then in terms of your fighting career, uh, is there a name you have in mind? And if so, like, when, or when would you like to return after a fight like this? Not so much on the names, man. Uh, I got to get back, see what's up. Um, maybe August, you know, just thinking now. Maybe August. My wife is due in September, so in a perfect world, we get we get one more in before the baby comes. But uh, now I'm just going to try to soak this up, and then I'll be in the gym probably next Wednesday, and then we'll go from there. Congratulations on thank the you. birth. Thank you, thank you. Just out of curiosity, when you say you had to put a poke face on for the body kick, how bad was it? Like, how hurt were you? If he had followed up with another couple, would you have been out of there or would you able to stay? No, I, I was being hyperbolic. But uh, <laughs> it did hurt, though. I can't lie. It felt like shit. But uh, no, I, I don't think it would have put me away or anything like that. Well, rather you than me, anyway. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just one in terms of reference of the fans. How different was it uh, from walking out to the Contender Series, you know, at the Apex, knowing that you're making your UFC shot, to walk out here and hearing the fans... Uh, how different and how much more did it get you amped up for your fight out there tonight? I mean, it's it's completely different. Like you could hear a pin drop in the apex for the contender series fights. It's a uh, there's nothing like it. It was so weird. But uh, you know, I've, I've, I'm a big uh, believer in visualization. So this walkout has happened in my head a million times at this point. So it's exactly. I mean, exactly like that. So I felt like I lived that moment a thousand times as I was doing it. As you know, just trying to be as present as possible. But uh. Now I felt I felt I did a good job keeping my emotions in check. That's the last thing I want to do going in here is being emotional and being amped, just being here, being present, and, and being collected. And I thought I did a good job of doing that today. So the rest of 2021, what have you visualized for yourself for the rest of 2021? Man, uh, you know, at least one more win. Uh, two wins would be great. Um, but, you know, I, I had so much tunnel vision going into this. It, w it was May 15th, May 15th. And really, it was getting the weight down. This is my first time at, at 45 in over three years. So that was absorbing a lot of, of my, my mental energy and, and all that. But, uh, you know, we got the weight down about as perfect as a cut in my career. It's been shout out to my team for keeping me strong during all this. And uh, I felt great in there. And, and 45 is going to be my home for the foreseeable future. Thank you.